your scrap paper. You just lay it down. And then this is going to be a proof. A proof is just a test. So we're going to use scrap paper. But next time, we'll use good paper. So when you lay it down, I'm actually going to put another piece on here because there is something. You just want to keep your print as clean as possible. So if your hands are dirty, wipe them on your apron. And when you lay it down, I always like to hold the edges of my paper, and sometimes I even crouch down and lower it so it's centered on the paper. So it's not like, you know, half off and half on. Some, you know, it'll take a while. It might be, you know, a little off to one side, and that's okay. But just take your time and see if you can try and line it up. And what you can do is even maybe line up the block in the middle of the paper, and then try and line up the two pieces of paper. Oh, like the same hole. Yeah, the same hole. Since this is in the center, then you know your print will be in the center. And then once your paper is down, don't move it. Don't pick it up. Even if it's crooked, just leave it. Good. That's okay. And now you just want to, this is called burnishing, and you're pressing it. And what you don't want to do is press so hard that it moves the paper, because then it will smudge, right? So you're just kind of gently rubbing all the way around the edges, all the corners. I should probably get some burnishers. You can use the whole flat part of your hand. So it looks like every area has been pressed. Does it look good? On the corners you're good. Sometimes you just want to do it, give it a minute so it has a chance to soak into the paper. Okay. When, you, when the image starts to come through, you can see it, right? Then you know it's probably ready to be picked up. Looks pretty good. So you take one corner in one hand, one corner in the other hand, and slowly lift it up. And there's your print. Isn't that neat? Just carefully lay it down. There you go. Ta-da! What do you think? It looks great. So then you're